these are political choices that this government have chosen to make. I mean, we could talk about the budget, but the reality is, even when it comes to defence spending, my party in government had a clear pathway to securing that 2.5% of GDP by 20. 30. Today we're reading potential reports that this government, we understand they've got a strategic defence review taking place and that's right and proper, but they may not even seek to reach that level until 2034. The world is in an unstable place. We've seen in the last three weeks as well, the BRICS countries come together. You know, the landscape is shifting dramatically now in terms of where aggressors are, the type of challenges that we face. I think we need a stronger West right now, and it's imperative that the West in particular unites yeah. around defence spending, how we cooperate in NATO, the level of resources that we put in. We have been supporting Ukraine rightly, but also that has domestic implications for our own military and our own capacity, and actually recruitment and retention. These are areas that we must be discussing and looking at now. One of the clear implications which Mr. Trump set out, I guess, in his, in his campaign was that there may be less support or less full-throated support, I guess, uh, for Ukraine. Um, if the, the Americans wind down their support for Ukraine, what should we do? Well, I think, first of all, my party was a party in government that gave absolute support to Ukraine in terms of the military effort, but also putting out the hand of friendship to the people of Ukraine. We stand by that. We don't know what Trump is going to do, and I appreciate that we can speculate and have discussions, and we do have to think about this going forward. One thing I would say is that we do have to work with America on this. We can't do this on our own. We have to work with our European friends and allies as well. Europe has spent billions in this collective effort. We have to find joint solutions to these shared problems. This isn't a problem for one country versus another country. But this is actually about the security of us all, the defence of our own freedoms, and therefore I would, I would gently suggest that we have to work together on these solutions. Indeed.